Hello and welcome. And today the topic of discussion is in C programming. We'll understand what nested structure is all about. So prior to this, we have discussed everything about structures, everything about union. That is what structure is all about. What is the memory allocation in a structure? How to access member of a structure? What is union? How to access element of union? And then difference between structure and union. So today in this uh, video, we'll discuss about nested structure so let's start with nested structure what nested structure is all about nested structure is similar as nested loop if you have ever make a program of matrix so what you did you in nested or uh, of a pattern then you nested a loop inside a loop so what nested loop is for i is equal to 0 i less than 10 i plus plus and inside this loop i'm using one more loop for j is equal to 0, j less than equal to suppose i or j plus plus. Here what am I doing is that I am nesting a loop. So this is what nesting a loop. So in a similar fashion when you are using a structure inside, when you are using a structure inside another structure then that is called nesting of structure. So let's read the definition. Nested structure in C is nothing but structure within a structure. So like loop within a loop is nested loop. Structure within a structure is a nested structure. One structure can be declared inside another structure. Very important. One structure can be declared inside another structure. We as we declare a structure member inside a structure. Let's start. So we have created a structure employee. Inside that I have two members. One is ID. One is name. ID is an integer type name is an character array now again we have another member which is again a structure so i have again a member so this entire is a member third member this entire is a third member of my structure one member was one member was what one member was id one member was name now the third member is itself a structure having name date there are three members of this inner structure one is dd one is mm and one is yy that is i'm declaring structure inside a structure inside a structure employee i'm declaring structure date having three variable fine now i have created a variable doj so what is doj doaj is a variable of which structure date and what is e1 e1 is a variable of structure employee now let me make the structure now let me make the memory structure now let me make the memory structure of what 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 i will make the memory structure of uh, e1 so as i've already told you many times so let me show you the memory structure uh, let me use some different color for you so the moment i'll make the memory structure of e1 so what is e1 e1 is a object or a variable of what employee so I have created how many member I have in employed three members one two and three so one is ID so suppose I am reserving this space ID for this one is name so one is name and name is an array of size 20 so this will be a array of size 20 and third is what date now date itself has what DOJ date itself has what d o j as a what d o j d o so let me use some different color for it now so date itself has let me use this so date itself has a another structure name as d o j which is divided into three part one is d d one is m m and one is y y y y fine so this is the memory structure now now let's start to and now let's start so e1 is representing this and doj is the inner part of that e1 fine so in main what i did i am initializing id e id of e1 so I, id belongs to e1 id of e1 with 101 so what will be there so let me use some different color for it let me use this color so what will happen 101 will come here then we have e1 dot name e1 dot name as james so j a m e s james will come here then e1 dot dog so i am accessing dog by e1 so what am i doing is dot e1 dot dog dot dd so this is the method of accessing now dot dd is equal to 10 so what where i'll put 10 here e1 dot dog dot mm so inside the variable 
e1 there is a member variable doj and inside that we have mm and i'm initializing with 11 and then e1 dot doj yy 2014 so 2014 will come here fine so finally i have you know initialize the entire memory of e1 fine now what am i doing is that i'm printing the value of employee id so when when i'll print the value of employee id so this will get printed like this and at the place of e1 dot id what will be printed 101 so after that 101 will come employee dot name e1 dot name is james so james will come and e1 dot joining date dd mm yy so like this it will come dd mm and yy yy like this it's fine and now what you are printing e1 dot doj dot dd what is that 10 so after that you will print 10 and at the place then 11 and then 2014 so this is what nested structure is all about fine hope you understood what memory is all about once you get this concept it will become very easy for you to understand what nested structure is all about so at last i'll say what thank you so much for watching please like subscribe and share thank you thank you so much thank you very much